without question, Dooku was one of the greatest lightsaber duelists that they had ever seen among the Jedi Order, or even the Sith Order at that. Dooku was impeccable, and more than this, his lightsaber form was meant to kill other Jedi, or other force wielders. Form 2 lightsaber combat, known as Makashi, specialized in blade to blade, one on one lightsaber combat. In fact, it was for this major reason that Sidious opted to take Dooku as an apprentice in the first place, as he believed he could use him in the war to come. Not only because his high esteem as a former Jedi master, but because of his ability to kill. After Dooku fell to the dark side of the force, his abilities increased even further. Those barriers that kept him calm and collected during a lightsaber duel as a Jedi were completely removed by his new powers. Because of this, he had a more ferocious form to his style, something that he had never experienced as his time as a Jedi. This is why, before he ever encountered his master Yoda yet again, he believed that he would easily defeat him in a lightsaber duel. Dooku believed that Yoda's time had passed, and that he was aging, and with Dooku's new power, that he could overthrow his master only if barely. However, Dooku would show the first sign of weakness when he again re-engaged his former master and Jedi Grandmaster Yoda. Although Sidious himself was not present, he knew exactly how the battle had gone down and what had commenced between Dooku and Yoda. At first, Sidious was extremely impressed that Dooku had dispatched Anakin Skywalker as well as Obi-Wan Kenobi with relative ease. However, when Yoda arrived, Sidious could actually feel the shift in the Force, as could the two that were engaging in the duel themselves. Although Although Dooku was not afraid of Yoda, he did remember him. More than this, he remembered the great skill that he commanded as the Grand Master of the Jedi Order. And more importantly than this, the only Jedi that had ever defeated Dooku in a sparring match. A creature that had taught Dooku everything. This is why when the two of them finally engaged in lightsaber combat, Yoda was the one that came out victorious. Dooku held his own, but Yoda wasn't even pushing to his fullest extent in the lightsaber duel. Despite all of his advancements, Yoda was still too much for Dooku. Although he had certainly closed the gap between the two of them, Yoda was still the superior duelist. Dooku though held back for some time. He wanted to test his master, but more importantly to test himself, to see how far he truly had come. This duel with Yoda was perhaps one of the most influential and most important duels in Dooku's entire life. That is why when he was eventually forced to flee, he was heartbroken and destroyed. Sidious didn't even need to inform Dooku that he had failed, despite seemingly being victorious. Again, Dooku was forced to break off the engagement because he could feel Yoda pressing against him. He could feel that Yoda would eventually overtake him, and that he was simply at the time better than Dooku. In all actuality, this was one of the defining moments where Sidious realized that he would indeed need to replace Dooku one day. Replace him with someone that Dooku had defeated merely moments earlier. Still though, this would mark one of the most crushing defeats in Dooku's eyes, despite the fact that he was never truly beaten by Yoda. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, Dooku fled and Yoda did not. Anyway guys, leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and what is your interpretation of the duel between Dooku and Yoda? And at their time at the duel of Geonosis and Attack of the Clones, who was the superior swordsman? Before you go, be sure to check out my other channel, The Marvelous Wave, where we talk all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including news, breakdowns, and theories about all upcoming and past Marvel movies. Link to the channel is in the description below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.